Last week on Sailing Yacht Ruby Rose, we finally left Portugal and headed for Spain. We had an amazing day sail, very light winds, and as night sets in, we settled down for what we hope is a lovely, pleasant and calm night sail. Alright, so I've just come on my watch and uh, it looks like it's going to be a really beautiful night. The moon is out, it's just a little crescent moon. I can see Venus, I can see Mars and we are 69 miles away from Cardiz. Currently we're going to get there in the morning. Nick's just gone to sleep and uh, I'm settling in for my watch. I was trying to stay up for as long as I can, it's nine o'clock now. So at least midnight but hopefully I'll be able to stay up a bit longer than that and let Nick rest. All my things I need, I have my Kindle, I have some chocolate, and I have the ocean and the stars, so I am happy. Good morning. Back on watch, it's um, 6.30 in the morning, and I've been on watch for the last three hours very uneventful night, thankfully. Uh, there's quite a few boats around, but none that have bothered us or come even close to us. And the weather's been really nice. It's been really low winds. We've been just motoring along in flat, calm water. Um, and we are now 22 miles from Cardiz. So we'll be getting in hopefully mid-morning. So all in all, a uh, pretty cruisy, Night and sleep. Good morning. The mere cat Yes, yes, second time I did. What shipping traffic? No, no, I'm not out there. The placing of them all, they look like fishing boats. Yeah, they, they don't move, they're just there sitting. Yeah, they're fishing boats, or they're tankers. No, I don't know. Or maybe they're angry. Turn around, I'm going to see them. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you might. Go and have a lovely, uh, have a lovely something. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, okay. I've been awake for about two minutes, so. So it's usually going to get from two minutes awake. So here we are. Uh, we are five miles away from Cardiff Marina. And uh, it's starting to get busy. We are right in, uh, coming into the, the Bay of Cadiz. And um, yeah, behind me, you won't be able to see it, somewhere around there. It's like a big cargo ship bearing down on us. But the pass across our stern, so it's all good. <laughs> Just in case you're worried. And the sun's come out, which is nice. This morning was a bit cloudy. It's still pretty cloudy behind us, but in front of us here, there's some lovely blue sky, and uh, Nick's just having sleep, and I'll wake him up when we're a couple of miles away. But I want him to sleep as much as possible. 
We both slept well last night, but you know, you never get that much sleep when you're doing a night crossing. Had some really nice watches last night. Had two watches, one from 9 to midnight and one from 3 to 6 a.m. And um, yeah, we Nick said this morning that he saw loads of shooting stars and I did as well. It was absolutely, the sky was just magnificent last night. It really, really was. It was just incredible. And there were lots and lots of shooting stars. And um, I even saw like some weird, I was sitting here and there was like this weird bright, white kind of flare it was like it was, it was as if a firework went off and it was really really bright and um yes there's a tanker behind us it's passing and uh yeah by the time i looked at where it was and what it was it uh, it had faded so i don't know what it was but maybe it was a meteor or something it was really really bright and I also had dolphins at about 4am this morning. A couple of dolphins came to say hello, which was nice. And yeah, otherwise it was just a really nice night. Like a drum snip, buds are bursting. Beautiful green. Thanks, I'll call you in about 10 minutes. Ruby Rose standing by 9. Okay. We got to someone at last, that's nice. Yeah, it's always a bit heartening, isn't it, when you find actually you can get, it's like... There's someone there. However, I managed to combine three languages in three sentences. I thought I heard you speaking French. No, it was Greek. <laughs> What were the other two languages? Uh, well, I kind of threw some Portuguese in there because we've just left Portugal. And the third? Uh, so I went to Spanish. <laughs> so I... English was not one of the three? No, well, no, I tried. No, the fourth. Or Italian. Was... So the three languages you can actually speak were. No, I was like, uh, in air, and I'm like, no, that's Greek. Uh, tienes una, una, tienes un, un puerto para, para mí, para nuestra, nuestra banda. Por favor. Oh, that's kind of Spanish. It is Spanish. Kind of Spanish. Tengo, tienes. So what Portuguese did you bust out? I kind of, there was an obligado almost. <laughs> Uh, see what you know, babe. Although, well done, well done for trying. The reason why is that basically I hailed her in English and yeah. she answered in Spanish, and I couldn't work out whether she just couldn't speak English. Yeah. Don't forget, you know, just because we speak English, we should not ever, we should oh, never well, expect everyone to speak, anyone to speak our language. Absolutely. I think last time we were in Spain, you got quite good at rela oh, relaying, relaying, <laughs> no, relaying like important. Over the radio in Spanish. Well, look, it's not a language that we've used since we left Puerto Rico. Exactly. Oh, I left Miami. <laughs> Searching in the dark, trusting every clue I found. But the truth has not been told. There's every corner of these woods is hollow. I can't see in the dark. Marina Puerto America, Marina Puerto America. Interesting uh, exercise. Yeah, sorry.
Yeah, I've got it. So it's four meters on the like. Let it go back, Trace. Let the told me Just let it. Oh, yeah. Huh? Ruby Rose successfully and safely tied up on her mooring. It's time to celebrate as we always celebrate a safe passage by going into town to get a quick beer and a good meal. Well, that was nice. Yes. 120 miles. Yes. 24 hours. Yes. Five knots. Easy passage. No swell. Well, not a lot of swell. So a couple of good night's sleeps. Yeah. I slept well. Yeah. Um, and Narrow Yeah, so uh, cheers, babe. Cheers, babe. Join us next week as we drink more beer. <laughs> <laughs> and we're still in Spain. <laughs> Join us next week as we explore beautiful Cadiz, the sights, the sounds, and all the food it has to offer. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you like what we do and you want to see what we do every week, then please hit that subscribe button. Bye.